Can the credibility of witnesses in high-profile cases be trusted? Or do their shady pasts cast a shadow over their testimonies? Enter the whirlwind of allegations and counter-allegiances surrounding the character and reputation of Diddy accuser Rodney Lil Rod Jones. Lil Rod is suing the bad boy mogul for a staggering $30 million, claiming he was forced into sex acts, drugged and groped during his tenure working with him. Yet the opposition paints a different picture of Lil Rod. They've been unearthing a history of troubling arrests and convictions, questioning his reliability as a witness. But is this an earnest quest for truth or a callous smear campaign to weaken Lil Rod's case against the I'll Be Missing You rapper? Let's take a step back to 2009 and 2014, years when Smith faced charges of domestic assault, not once, but twice. Fast forward to 2005, where a misdemeanor sexual assault charge comes into the picture. However, all these charges were dismissed. The plot thickens in 2003 when Smith was convicted of reckless homicide at the tender age of 17. According to Smith's attorney, Tyrone Blackburn, the incident was a tragic accident, where Smith, fearful of the police, drove off during a routine stop, resulting in a fatal accident that claimed the life of his cousin. Blackburn asserts that Smith did not have adequate legal representation at the time, leading to a guilty plea. He also warns against letting these past incidents cloud the judgment on the current allegations against Diddy. A sidebar. Did you know that Lil Rod has a single listed on title? Could Jay-Z, Diddy's business partner friend, have something to do with taking down Diddy as some allege? Why is he streaming Diddy's biggest enemy? Hmm. Inquiring queens want to know. Fast forward to February, where Smith made shocking allegations in court papers. He accused Diddy of repeated sexual assault while working on Diddy's latest album from September 2022 to November 2023. The producer alleged that Diddy would grope him to groom him into having sex, dismissing these acts as horseplay. He went further to accuse Diddy of subjecting him to unwanted sexual attention from his associates and even coercing him to solicit sex workers. Smith's claims take a darker turn with allegations of being drugged and raped during one of Diddy's parties in February 2023. In response to these allegations, Diddy's attorney, Sean Hawley, has vehemently denied them, labeling Smith as nothing more than a liar seeking a hefty payday. So where does this leave us? On one side, we have a man with a troubled past making serious allegations of sexual abuse. On the other, we have a high-profile celebrity backed by a legal team denying these claims and questioning the accuser's credibility. In this storm of allegations and counter-allegations, the truth may be hard to discern. But one thing is certain, the battle for the character and reputation of Puffy aka Diddy is far from over. Stay tuned for more updates and please don't forget to like and subscribe.